So after Nepal, my next FGIC goal is to fly on the Mahan Air A340-600. I've flown their A340-300 and the 747-300 in the past. If you're interested in those videos, they're also on YouTube. Mahan Air have 7 A340-600. I spotted one of their A340-600 in Moscow last year. Ever since then, I really want to fly on one of those. Hi guys, I'm in a Bangkok taxi right now to the airport to catch an Air Asia flight to Malaysia. Once I arrive in Malaysia, I'll catch Mahan Air A340-600. At Bangkok Dong Man Airport, I recommend to use the Coral Lounge if you have Priority Pass or Lounge Key Credit Card. You can also pay to use the newly renovated lounge. So in the lounge, you actually get a free massage for 15 minutes here. It's incredible service here. I wish every airport lounge have a free massage like this. Dong Man is quite crowded with mostly low-cost budget carrier. It's really easy to do plane spotting through the window there. Hi. 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 How are you? I'm good. How are you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> This is too good to be true. I have a whole road to myself. They've made special announcement. They didn't want anyone to sit here without paying for it. I paid an extra $12 for the exit row for this two hour flight. I definitely recommend it for the extra comfort. The flight was quite ordinary. There's no IFE, just food and drinks for purchase. What I learned about this play is you've got to pre-book your meal. Um, there's no extra meal if you're hungry. Thank you, bye. Hello, so, so what's the number 10 here on the airplane? Number 10 is because of we won uh, 10 years in a row. The 10 years in a row. Alright, see you, bye. Thank you, bye-bye. So just arrived, first time in the KLIA2, a low-cost airline terminal. And one flight down, two more to come. At KLIA, I went ahead to the Mahan Air check-in area. I was the only non-Iranian passenger flying Mahan Air that night. I used Plaza Premium Lounge at the satellite before the boarding. The lounge was quite crowded, but I really liked the food on offer. After all, Malaysia is always a great place for foodie. Hi, Grace. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Grace was on my Malaysia Airline A350 flight from London last time. Um, nice this is to meet you. such a small world. This came back from Narita. From Narita on the A380. Oh yes, A380. Wow, right. and she's so nice. She's walking with me to yeah. my gates to Tehran, and it's not every day you have someone to walk with you every day at the airport. So much appreciated. Just send my friend for the departure. I am very anxious. I'm very anxious to go to Iran. And this is all for me and Malaysia Airlines. Oh, this is so nice. Look at this. From Malaysia Airlines. Oh, this is the bear. He's going to go with me to Tehran today. Look at this. Wow. Hi, hello. So clearly they're not used to a passenger or foreigner like me who love filming my flights. This is a second-hand airplane. The cabin was kept exactly the same as Virgin Atlantic A340, but in a very good condition. I received a few strange stares, but slowly I made peace and settled down. Would you want a drink? Yeah, what kind of drink is it? Pineapple, orange juice and mango. Please don't take a photo. After takeoff, the cabin light got switched on again. The cabin crew came around to take order of the meal. I was told no photos initially, but after a while they were more relaxed, and I told them I was on a special mission to fly their A340. The thing I learned is nothing is impossible here. It's up to you how you're going to manage it. If there is a will, then surely there is a way. Now Iran is under heavy sanctions, so forget about the luxury. It's an experience flying an Iranian airline to see how things is. 
This is my new Iranian friend. Hi. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Yusuf Sharif. Yusuf Sharif. Yes. Your name? Exxon Reza. Huh? Exxon Reza. Exxon? Exxon. 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 So they just told me that uh, they pay $500 round trip in business class from uh, Tehran to KL back to Tehran. 500 US dollar. You know, the Iranian money crashed recently. It's a flat bed seat. They face like inside, like this way. So there you go. There's an empty bar at the end of business class cabin. This is on the A34600. They're preparing starter in the bar area here. Well, this TV screen here clearly is broken. There's no entertainment at all. Nothing. No entertainment on the Iranian airline. I'm from Tabriz and Iranian food is very, very delicious. Well, I have to say the food is very, very, very good on Mahan Air. They're delicious. Okay. Oh, the beds come down. Wow. Okay, now I'm gonna have some rest. Try out the flat bed. It's not too bad. It's uh, slipping sideways, but uh, flat bed. It was a pretty short flight, just about 7 hours flying time. I slept very well till they woke me up for a quick pizza before landing at, into Iman Humini International Airport of Tehran at 3 a.m. I just landed in Tehran and I'm going to the terminal. I'm going to a VIP terminal now. Welcome to the CIP terminal. CIP terminal uh, is the private terminal for the businessmen and the uh, important passenger. The CIP terminal access can be purchased for $44. It is a separate terminal from the main passenger terminal and definitely felt more exclusive. The famous pistachio from Iran. There were lots of special duty-free items on sale, such as Iranian caviar, miniature boxes, and Persian carpets. I took a two-hour nap in the transit hotel room in the CIP lounge, and after some breakfast, it's time to board a minibus for the next flight to Dubai. Welcome on board Mohan Air Airbus 340. My name is Ismaili. Today our flight was from Tehran, Imam Khomeini Airport to Dubai. It's around 35,000 feet decimal 82 Mach number. This Mahan Air A340-300 is an ex-Olympic Airways. It has 30 seats in business class. Best leg room is in row 1. There are security guards on all Iranian Airlines flights. They usually sit in the first row and have even higher authority than the captain.
flight time to Dubai was just under two hours. I'm really glad to fly on another four engine airplanes on such a short flight. Overall, I was really glad to pull off this flight to Mahan Air, as these were unique experiences for my traveling memories. Thanks for watching again.